rents, you know, here in this century, folks, they're like thirteen fifty for something like this, okay? And you know what it don't got? It don't got the cash flow it should have because it don't got a Section 8 tenant. Yeah. He said it's locked up, right? Yeah, he locked up. Hey, big boy. <laughs> Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Y'all, we got a shortage. We got a housing shortage, and that's a damn good thing, okay? We got a housing shortage in Youngstown, Ohio. More specifically, a Section 8 housing shortage. And you know what we're going to do? Because we're those wonderful, joyous people that everyone loves. We're landlords. We're going to solve it by putting more Section 8 properties on the market. Take a look at this one. 178 Manchester Avenue, okay? Now, this thing is priced at $74,900. it has got three beds and three baths, okay? And you know what it don't got? It don't got the cash flow it should have because it don't got a Section 8 tenant, right? The current seller is selling this thing for a low price because they're not making a lot of money because they're only renting it for $7.25, folks. $7.25 for a three-bedroom, three-bathroom home in Youngstown. Do you know the last time the market rent was $7.25 for a 3-3? Three, three? The last friggin' time it was this damn cheap, you were friggin' logging on to AOL.com at 3.30 to do some aim with some girl that you met in middle school. Because that was 30 freaking years ago is what I'm trying to say, y'all. That is nothing, okay? Rents, you know, here in this century, folks, they're like thirteen fifty for something like this, okay? And it makes it especially good because we're in Youngstown, a place where Section 8 is paying a ton of money because they have way more Section 8 tenants then they have, or yeah, they have way more Section 8 tenants than they have Section 8 houses. I thought I got it backwards, but I didn't. No, no, no. We got a whole bunch of people trying to live in these houses that have Section 8 vouchers, guaranteed government rent, but we don't got a lot of houses, right? So we're going to take houses like this, and eventually we're going to go ahead and do the Lord's work and put these into that Section 8 program to house those people so we could make that sweet cash flow, right? Now, the current tenant, he's a good cat, good dude, nothing against him, okay? But, dude, this ain't a charity. We can't just be letting this guy live there forever for freaking 725. I mean, he's literally paying like a rent that made sense 30 freaking years ago, dude. Like gas wasn't $14.55 a gallon when he moved in, right? We weren't rocking and a rolling in the Bidenomics when this motherfucker moved into that property and started paying 725, right? So them's is the breaks. So what we got to do, what I recommend we do is we go in there, we take the property over. We don't go immediately to 1350 though. We don't want to do that, okay? Why? Because he'll immediately move out, most likely. He's probably not going to stay in the house when you, like, friggin' double his rent, right? But what you want to do is you want to come in there, get it to a reasonable level, but don't cause him to move out. Because if he does move out, yes, we'll put it on the Section 8 program, which is the ultimate plan here. But we're going to have to do a big old renovation. Like, as you see through the footage, right? It's cluttered. It's got crap everywhere. Uh, the rent isn't the only thing that hasn't been updated since, like, the mid-'90s, okay? Like, friggin' the last time they redid this kitchen, dude, like, I don't know. Like, friggin' Marky Mark was friggin' singing songs, bro. I, w I was going to make, like, an sync joke, but then I was like, no, this is, like, like 10 years before that. So I, I was going I was going with – I was trying to go New Kids on the Block, but I, I couldn't, you know – remember the name of the band so i just i just i just rolled with marky mark who was in the anyway moral of the story the motherfucker's outdated we don't want to spend a lot of money right now immediately off the rip trying to chase that cash flow what we want to do is get as much money as we can out of the current tenant as long as we can before he eventually moves out because he's gonna move out 
unless you keep his rent at like half of the market rate like the current owner did, eventually the tenant will move out. When that tenant moves out, we're going to take advantage of that Section 8 housing shortage and we're going to cash in. But there is no reason for us to do a renovation now and then another renovation later when we could just skip one renovation and get some cash flow now, right? So I'd probably go to like 975, right? Once you take it over, he's on month to month. I'd go 975. Then... Then the next year, maybe like 50 bucks, 50 bucks till he eventually gets to market. Or if he doesn't get to market, he moves out. Then we do what we inevitably have to do as real estate investors, fully renovate our property. And then we go get that sweet, sweet Section 8 cheddar. And since we're in Youngstown, we'll have our pick of the tenants, man, because there's probably going to be like 20, 30 applicants for every house we put on the market because they ain't got no Section 8 houses down there, but they got freaking gaggles of Section 8 tenants. That's why I love Youngstown. It's one of my favorite cash flow markets for investors right now. So if all that makes sense and you guys are ready to put in an offer, cool. Cash or financed offers are fine. You can't get in and tour the property until after we get an offer accepted. Then we'll make that offer contingent on your financing and an inspection. You'll send your offers to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. You don't have to like write up the offer. I will do that for you. Just let me know. Like, hey, James, saw 78 man Chester. I want to make an offer. You know, friggin' 75 grand cash, here's my proof of funds, or 75 grand finance, here's my pre approval letter, or I wanna pay 75 grand and I wanna get a loan, but I don't have a lender. James, can you hook me up with a lender? And then I'll go, absolutely, man, here's my list of lenders, then you'll get pre approved, then we'll put in your offer. Sales at holdenwise.com, let's get that cash flow. Damn, the boy clothes in here. <laughs> That's all right. You don't even live here no more. I didn't even know you had this stuff in there. There's just cologne and stuff over there. Just cologne and all kinds. Of stuff. You just keep it in case you ever gotta stop back, right? <laughs> it'll be back. It'll be your way, man. Yeah, this is the quickest part. The basement, like the just getting the what are those called? Like the I don't even know what they call them. The hot water tank and stuff. Oh yeah, the furnace. Yeah, they always want like. Try and get the cereal number. Sorry. There's no bedroom in the attic, is there? No. Okay. Hey, Mark. Hey. Pretty sure if she would have woken us by your face, it would have been worse. Right? That's yeah. why I was, when we were talking, I was like, oh, I better shut up. I don't want to wake her up. <laughs> don't want to scare nobody. All right, and then did the kitchen right? Did I do it from the back side? I'm not too sure. I don't remember. Better safe than sorry. Thank you. All right, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, he said it's locked up, right? Yeah, he locked up. Yeah, it'd be all right. He ain't gonna hurt me. Let's take your word for it. Hey, big boy. Hot water. Come on, Judge. Yeah, okay, buddy. I'll be quick. The uh, breaker panel in the back. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Ah, oh, okay. Against it, right? 
Yeah, right? <laughs> Saw it, I was like, I'm not gonna let that one get me. <laughs> Porch is the last thing I gotta do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.